here's the diaphragm, here's the lower, here's the posterior, middle, anterior lobes of the lung, here's the mediastinal lung. Right here, we're going to connect the probe into the larynx, into the larynx right here. As you can see, it connects down into this tube right here. Here we have the epiglottis, which goes down into the stomach. Here we have the trachea. If we fold this back, you can see the C-shaped cartilages on the back of it. You can see that little ribbed portion. We're going to stick it in and see how they connect. There's the esophagus. There's the epiglottis. And then if we point it to the right, we enter into the trachea. This part goes down into here. Next, we have, we're going to move on to the heart. This itself is the heart. This material right here and some of it around is the pericardial tissue. Once we open it up, we can see the apex is down here. The interventricular septum is this middle piece. Over here, we have the right ventricle. Over here, we have the left ventricle. And then we are going to look at the left and right auricles. So up at the top, here is the right auricle. I'll move this down. Here's the right auricle. On the bottom or underneath and here is the left auricle right there. Moving on, we are going to... Oops, moving on to the next part, we're going to go down to the digestive system. First thing we're going to take a look at is the greater omentum, the large fatty apron that goes on top of all these internal organs. Then we have the liver and each of its lobes, which is here. This is the liver. Lobe, lobe, lobe. Those are the main lobes of the liver. Then we have the gallbladder, which is this dyed green piece here. I'm going to try and open it up for you. So this green dyed piece right here is going to be the gallbladder. That is the duct for the bile. Down underneath this, underneath the pancreas, we can see the liver, or the pancreas right here, and it's the center of the kidney. And then the spleen is going to be over here. Let's see if we can find it. The spleen is going to be right here. It is this lobule piece right here that connect, is right above the kidneys. Moving on, we are going to the esophagus, directly where it connects to the stomach, which is here. Up at the top, we have the fundus, the body, which is the main portion of the stomach. Down at the bottom is the pylorus. Right here is the pyloric sphincter, where the stomach connects to the small intestine. We have the duodenum, which is the initial part, the majority of it, which is the jejunum, all of this main aspect. Going down into the bottom, we are going to see the ileocecal valve. Let me see if I can find it. Oh my gosh. Can you pause it for a second? Here we have the ileocecal valve. Then we have the ascending, we have the cecum, first part the ascending colon here, the transverse colon. Down here we're going to have the descending colon before it reaches the final part, just above the urinary bladder, known as the sigmoid colon. Then we have the kidneys. Over here is the left kidney. In here is the right kidney. The ureters for both. This is the ureter for the right kidney. And I will eject it, the ureter for the left kidney. I have to take the, I'll take the scalpel here so I can retrieve it. Gently pull back some of those layers of fat. And then I'm going to see this. This right here is the ureter for the left kidney. Finally, we have the urinary bladder here, and that is everything.